so you want to get your chord voices right don't trip i got you before we do anything or i tell you guys anything i just want to let you guys know uh that you guys should be pretty familiar with your scales major and minor and also all your chords it's only going to help you out in the long run and i'm going to be referring to uh notes and stuff as fifth six ninth uh, and things like that so it's only best if you know but without further ado let's get into the video so the first little voicing that i like to do is going to be uh basically a major nine over seventh over the seventh so major nine over the seventh and it'll sound something like this say we have a a major seven uh basically we're going to transform it into this so you can hear the difference in those two so basically how do i play that so you can start off with your right hand play the one three five and seven of the chord making it the major seven up next you want to take the seventh and play it in your left hand so after that you also want to add the ninth but play it in your right hand that's better so it'll sound like this what that does is it beefs up the the lower end of the chord with a nice little cluster to make the chord sound nice and lush after you get that down you want to play the sixth as a ghost note so so just go all up and down the keyboard and it sounds great and yeah up next the second little voicing that i like to do is going to be second versions so second versions are very overpowered when you want to make a major chord sound a little bit more mellow so say we have a d major seven and we want to make it sound more mellow basically we'll take this and turn it into that and the way that you can do that is by playing the major chord major seven chord in your right hand taking the top two notes so it's going to be the fifth and the seventh and dropping them down so you're going to play it down there and that makes the second inversion so you can play and this really helps make your major chords sound a little bit more sad Major chords are known to, to sound a little bit more uplifting and happy. And this is just a nice little trick to calm them down. A good way to use that would be like this. Say we had these chords. It doesn't really have that feeling that I'm looking for. It, it sounds a little bit too joyful. So what I'm going to do is play the second inversion. Now, that's the sound that I'm going for. Perfect. Up next, we have third inversions. So third inversions are pretty simple. All you're going to do is play the major scale, major chord, and drop the seventh down here. So it sounds like this. And again, this is another way to make your major chords sound a little bit more dark and uh, mellow. So a good example of that voice would be something like this. Uh, let's see. And then without the uh, third inversion, it sounds like this.
as you can see it doesn't it doesn't really hit the same so uh adding that third inversion really builds the chord up so yeah that's going to be all the voicings and inversions that i have for you guys today hopefully you guys learned something new and hopefully you guys utilize them and have fun using them but with all that being said hopefully you guys enjoyed peace out